Hey everybody, it's Amy, owner and curator of Yo So Boho here with my Hello everybody. other half, soon to be hubs. I'm gonna call you hubs. You okay with that? Whatever. It's better than hubby, right? Hubs? Yeah. Yeah. I like hubs. All right. <laughs> Here with the hubs. I'm going to say that. Whatever works for you. <laughs> we have been out all day. We started with a five-year-old's birthday party. And then we went all through the metro parks and had a really nice day. The weather was kind of warm, but nice. And we stopped at a garage sale just out of the blue. It was along the route. And we met the most amazing couple. Did we get their names? I forgot. I forgot to. <laughs> it's okay they don't know that we do this so it's okay but um man they were so cool and i walked up to one of the tables and she had an entire set of pinero bordala portugal ceramic christmas plates plates platters cups they look like this they're gorgeous and of course because i flipped it over and saw that on there I looked these up and they, they they do pretty good. I was very happy to find them. I got the entire set. I don't remember how much, how many pieces. Service for 12, right? Something like that. Yeah. So 12 plates, dinner plates, 12 snack plates, or 11, platters, a pitcher, all kinds of stuff. I got it all for 60 bucks, which was amazing because I think three of the plates will give, you money give, my, yeah, give me my money back. That's awesome. So I got that and some sweatshirts, uh, two sweatshirts that I'm gonna bring to a sale. So they'll, those will already be gone. I won't even show them here. And then we came over here to the Cuyahoga Falls Goodwill because Mr. Earth suggested. And did you find the best thing? He found the best thing. So let's go in real quick and show you what we found. I just peeked up here and I saw this bacon press. Um, I've sold one of these before, but there's a lot listed and a few sold. But then up here, hiding for anybody shorter than me, look at this wild thing. Beautiful piece of stained glass. And then look at the snowflakes hanging from it. Is that not gorgeous? $3? There doesn't appear to be any damage. We're totally going to grab that. This is what happens when I find something amazing. I have to turn the camera on. <laughs> I love that. I'm super happy with that find. I don't know if I'm gonna part with that. That looks like something that could hang in my window in the winter time. It looks like a snow cloud. I don't know, I love it. Um, we've been here for a little bit, not finding a whole lot. Earth did find a steering wheel, of course. This is something I would have looked right past. But this is for, I think, a Honda Accord or something. And the last one sold for 85 with free shipping. Which is great. How much I have on here? Five bucks. So that's awesome. So that's going. That's going with us. And I found a little pottery wall pocket that I love. I just think it has a really neat coloration on it. And they have $3 on this. So I think we're going to grab that. This is like a Target brand. Look at this, like crushed velvet, long duster. I'm going to check that over, but doesn't that look like an awesome fall garment? Seems like something that'll go over a lot of different colors. I have to check the length on the sleeves. This looks like a three quarter sleeve. I have like long, long arms. So we'll check that out. All right, who is this? Do we know? Look at her arms. Oh, jeez. <laughs> she lost the trophy. What is going on here? That's definitely some kind of gesture, right? Who is this? Do we know? <laughs> Why does she got those hands? All right, we need to know. I'm gonna have to look her up. This is kind of cool too. It's big tin. It's got a old lid that says Cherry Central. 30 pounds of cherries. Mmm. Cherries. Kind of like this guy. He had a cool quality about him. Made in People's Republic of China. Looks like maybe this guy's a little cork or something. Is he a little bottle? 
I think we're gonna have to do some investigation here. He just looks neat, right? And I like these. However, I just noticed we got a chip right here. Oh, and this one's missing a whole wing. Oh, that's unfortunate. They have a very sweet look about them. Kind of like this too. This is a Ray Dunn. It's like a little journal or something there. $2. Blue's the color today, so that would be a buck. What would we get it for though? Just to remind us to create. I don't think I need to be reminded to create. It's like my favorite thing. Oh my gosh, look at this strawberry chicken. Why is it so cute to me? $19.99 hand painted. I think I saw a chip maybe on the, yeah, right there. I feel like that just needs a little touch up. Tiny little white spot right there. It's got some crazing, but super whimsical. Oh, what is this? I see a very whimsical bunny here. See a hobbyist piece? Oh my gosh. <laughs> His face is so derpy. He's pretty great though. $3. KG in 52. You are from 1952, you little derpy dude. Oh, I don't know. We might have to. We might have to get all the weirdos today. Look at that guy sleeping. He's neat. Is he a music box? Distributed by Target. Almost looks like a Jim Shore. Just the style. Does he spin when we wind it up? Let's check. Oh, he does. It's kind of cute. I don't know, about $4 cute. I do have a coupon though. Look at the mustaches. It's fun. All right, we're gonna put him in the cart just because we have a coupon. Is this a, it's a Christmas candle. That's fun too. Is that a fruitcake? Or is that figgy pudding? <laughs> That's nice. Looks like Lily Porcelain Industry. I don't know. Has a nice look to it. Anything else hiding down in here? Oh, look at all these shells. They're kind of not pretty, though. And there's one huge stack of them. See if there's anything in the clear glass. This is kind of cool. Look at how pretty that is. I like the look of that. It'd be nice if there was a set of those. I'd just see that one. That's kind of cool. It just says Zen. That looks mid-century right there with the little pheasants and the blue, almost like a faux. Oh, we like these. They got five on that though. And it's just a Darius, it's nothing special. These are fly traps. Mm, I don't know how old that one is, but I don't think there's anything too special about it. Oh, this is kind of cool. Looks like an original sticker on there. Toscany, Tuscany. That's neat though with the etched ship. I like that. These are kind of cute. They're just a Target brand as well. I think they're a tag, yeah. I like that though. The design on it's neat.
Aww, look at those cows. Those are cute cows. Cows in the winter. They're rolling something out here, but it's not a regular old cart. I also like these, just the bright. Ida, what are they signed? What are these? Chrysanthemum painted by Ida. Seymour Manon? Let's look these up. Unfortunately, there's too many of these listed and not enough sold. Uh, I think there was only one baking dish that sold, but there are several listed. This is um, Seymour Mann, I guess, designed by um, Ida Mann. Ida Mann? <laughs> that didn't sound right. I love the way those look. But there was one listing that had four cups and four plates kind of together for $60. Most of them are listed way less. But we're gonna have to pass on those. That looks like a Pioneer, yeah. Napkin holder. We might wanna look that up too. I got $5 on it. That looks to be only eight to $12 plus shipping. So I'm just skip on that. I like the way this big glass thing looks, probably because I love the cork top. I wanna check and see what these are up here. Oh, those are hand painted. That's neat. I wonder if there are mugs down here that match these. Those are nice. You'd have to be really careful with them because that's just like an acrylic right on the glass. Look at how pretty it looks from the other side. I'm going to move these down here so somebody can see them. Give us a chance to check them out too. Looks like there's only three of them. Wow. Wow, that is neat. Somebody definitely with some talent, right? Wow. How pretty. Just three little snack plates. I wonder if the mugs are somewhere. And then it looks like maybe this is the same artist. Little tomato juice pitcher one tiny little cup in there. We're gonna keep an eye out for mugs that might go with those. It's got a neat quality to it. World Market. I find a lot of things marked World Market and I'm always drawn to them. Like they definitely curated good stuff. I always take a look at the knife blocks because there are some knife blocks you should look out for. see any here. Nothing in good shape either. Mm. Looks like an older rolling pin. I like those black painted handles. Look at how worn they are. Somebody definitely used that. It's a neat little one. Not a lot of money in those though. Mm, there's one of those popcorn. We have one of these in the camper. Theater 2 popcorn popper. That's not the one we have. We have like the uh, original. I don't think that those are worth very much either. See something weird over here that we gotta check out. What is this? Oh no, it's a face. It's a weird face just sitting here. It's by Eleanor, Eleanor Ocampo in 2009. Ooh. <laughs> All right, any good mugs? Let's look for those hand-painted ones. Are they over here? Off the bat, I'm not seeing them. Pioneer Woman, right? I think the only thing I've ever found that was worth anything that was Pioneer Woman was a rolling pin. Anything hiding? What's this? With the wild handle. Daytona Beach. Meh. Nah. I'm not seeing anything that we need. Although, born to be queen, I mean. <laughs> Alright. I've been down those rows. 
think we just have the back to do now. And I lost Earth somewhere. He's around here somewhere. There he is. I found him. He must not have been that lost. What's this? No, I don't like the way the top looks. No, I don't like the way that feels at all. Anything in over here that we need? Some Christmas blankets, some small lap blankets that are crocheted. What is this? That is a cool look. Is that a scarf? There's two of them. Yeah, just a scarf. I like the uh, colors in that. This looks like it might be quilted, hand quilted. Oh, ooh. the material is horrible. <laughs> I would not want to have that on me. That's unfortunate. Mm, that's an older one. Got some 70s colors for sure. We're back here where the music starts to jam, so I'm gonna have to talk right over it or shut us down. That's kind of nice. I also don't like the way that feels though. It has a weird feeling to it. Anybody need a bowling ball? <laughs> All right, art, art, big fish. Don't think we need a big fish. I don't see much art back here today. Looks like they've cleaned out this area. Who is she? That's kind of neat. It's hand done. It's not signed. It's kind of wild though. She's somebody who was learning, but knew what they were doing, did her. There's no information at all. There's no, wow. Kind of striking. I like the old frame too, even though it's beat up. Whoa. It's a dog with a boat on its head. Oh my gosh. And those dogs are making out. That's kind of like. Kiss the art. <laughs> What's Marker Street? What are those? Um, what are they? Not whippets. What are they? Um, darn it. What are Wine they Mariners? called? Weimariners. Yeah, exactly. A Weimariner with a boat on its head and two Weimariners making out. They're cute, though. They definitely look like uh, professional photography. What's it called? Breville the Personal Pie. I'll look it up. How much they want for it? Eight. $8. If you can find these new... I'd say grab them, 75 to hundred dollars. However, open box and pre-owned, it drops you all the way down to 25 to 30 bucks. So we're gonna have to leave this behind. Yeah, we're just gonna look up a couple of things real quick and I think we're gonna head on out. We're calling it. We left the strawberry chicken, um, but we are picking up this weird panda bear and we have to get that derpy uh, bunny. I mean, come on. Somebody's gonna want him. <laughs> he was made in 1952, he's too cool. Of course, we're getting this beautiful piece of stained glass artwork. I'm picking up this pretty piece of pottery, this wall pocket, that's neat. And the steering wheel's the big find of the day. Go figure, Mr. Earth nope. found the big find of the day. Brand new, let's back and take off. Yeah, brand new, that's awesome. So I picked up when I first came in a couple of Steelers caps because Mr. Earth's a Steelers fan and he tried them on. He decided he likes this one. So we're getting that one. So this is going back and this, just as I figured, the sleeves are just too short, too short. So even though I like the crushed velvet, we're gonna leave this one behind. This is beautiful. What is that, velvet? <laughs> if anybody knows where that came from, I'll give you a hint. It's a movie from the late 80s. Late 80s movie? Yes. Okay, and what was it again? This is beautiful. Where is that velvet? <laughs> <laughs> so Movies it, from the late 80s. Any, anybody over 40 years old, it's a common actor. It's a movie that came out in the late 80s. Okay, we'll see if anybody knows. <laughs> <laughs> he says that it's every time something soft, he says that to me, so I know what it's from, but that's funny. Don't give it away. You did find the best thing, the okay. steering wheel, right? Yep. How much am I gonna list that for? At least 50, 60. 60 bucks? Or more. Yeah, cause it's new. 
the used one sold for 85 with free don't, shipping don't right look at, don't look don't look nowhere near as good as that no you found a nice brand new one so that was a happy little pickup and then i got some fun stuff and my favorite thing of all was that beautiful piece of stained glass art i am so thrilled that we stopped in just so i could find that it was up on the very top of a shelf like i could see it because of my height but i'm sure it was hiding up there from a lot of other people so yay and that'll be it for today we're gonna go get some uh, food and call it a night so thanks for hanging out with us until next time please take care and we'll see you then Bye. Bye.